say it constantly, we do not settle for mediocrity. Take a spin through the Bridgewater Chocolate Factory and you'll see attention to detail at every turn. The caramel's got to be pliable, not too hard, not too soft. From the special chocolate recipes crafted down to a science. We get about 11 different kinds of cocoa in. To the signature hinged boxes and intricate bows. People will tell me constantly, oh, I love your boxes. I save them for makeup or paper clips or pens. All the girls have to bow these boxes. They have to get out to California by Thursday. OK. But it's Eric and Patty Landegren's unique approach to their confections that sets their Bridgewater brand apart. 61% and 72% Ecuadorian blends, and then a 70% West African. Blending the sophisticated European style of fine chocolate with Americans' whimsical flair for fillings. Turtles, caramels, toffees. Giant marshmallows. They have their own little following. And of course, the most down-home temptation of all, peanut butter. Doesn't get any more American than this. It's oversized, it's luscious. And I might need to try some of you, that. You can try all of it. You can try a whole one. <laughs> a trained chef who was born and raised in Sweden, Eric came to New York in the 80s to launch the critically acclaimed restaurant Aqua V. Wonderful experience, and it was a lot of fun, but it was, it was a grind. Eight years later, he moved to Connecticut to cook for the family that bought the Bridgewater Village store and I helped putting various food items into this store, and chocolate was one of them. The very first was turtles. They came out good one day, came out not so good the next day, and then, you know, but you learn. Pretty soon, he nailed it, and orders started flooding in. First year, we had over 100 boxes that we had to ship out, and I got on the phone and called my father right away. You gotta come up and help us. I don't know how we're gonna manage this, and now we've grown it into this really successful business that a lot of celebrities really do enjoy. We've had Tommy Mottola, who's in charge of Sony Music Productions. We send to Celine Dion, Billy Joel, Gwyneth Paltrow. Does she eat chocolate? She eats chocolate, believe it or not, yes. She loves dark chocolate. It is always nice when someone who is in the limelight like that, who can spread the word, that they like this small little Connecticut handmade product. But you don't have to be high profile to dig right in. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> For Made in mm. Connecticut, I'm Christina DeFranco.